MCG was the home of footy and you know I used to watch grand finals on TV and, and to be there because the year before we were at Waverley and um, to, to be there at MCG where it all happens and kicking goals and, and um, the boys are just playing really well um, and the feeling afterwards is awesome. Number 30, second visit up here, Peter Matera. We always say, you know, it's us against them. And, you know, going to a grand final, we knew that the crowd was going to be against us because you can't take all our supporters across there. So we knew we were going to be against the crowd. So we all knew as a group that if we can silence the crowd and play at our best, do our job, um, whether we're down at half time, I think we can still win this from 91's performance. He sets sail behind with a mighty kick. What a goal. You know, a lot of people say about our, our, our midfield, but you know, look at our back line, you know, um, a great bunch of guys that you know that bonded so well. They didn't really have to be told anything. They just played to a, to a structure and they pretty much were in each other's back pocket all the way through their footy career. It was just a, a combination of, of talent through WA that we all came together at once and we gelled so, so well on the field. Well, we had a good relationship off field, which really helped us. We had that desire of losing the year before, going into the to the grand final. There's no way we're going to lose that grand final without all of us getting behind each other and, and, and getting out of line. Matera set sail for home, and the Eagles hit the front. Ever since I was a young bike playing footy, whether it was at country footy or South Fremantle, um, I always loved getting the footy and just bouncing and trying to beat my opponent, it doesn't matter who it was. Um, but at the MCG, yeah, it's like, um, I know someone's going to be angry when I don't kick it to him when I go for goal, but because you had a big occasion and, and um, I just love hearing the crowd and your name screamed out and so forth. So if I'm in range, I, um, I love, you know, bouncing the ball 20 metres and then going for it for about 50. So. If they go through, I know I've, I've done well because the crowd has uh, helped me celebrate. The Norm Smith medal today has been won. I was a bit reluctant of how to celebrate in a way because um, I was just shocked to see the crowd reaction and, and so forth after the game. But um, it probably didn't sink in until we all got back to Perth and we were in our little call group again, you know, without anyone else around. It was just us boys and reminiscing about, you know, being the first. You know, non-Victorian well, side, and um, we certainly party. That's for sure. West Coast create history by it's amazing. Like we're just all best friends, but even though we're not close friends, but it's just we're like brothers in a way because for those first three or four years where it was us against them, that you know, the group that we had for those reunions, it's just awesome because the bond is so strong.